What is up guys, Austin Nurcho here today. We're opening this Star Wars 40th Anniversary Collection. So this is kind of a new big set. I've been waiting a long time to get this. I've been collecting the figures over time as they've come out. Or I've been able to find them and then I got the last couple figures for Christmas. But they didn't arrive until a month later. So I finally got them in and ready to do this video. So if you've seen this, this is the 40th Anniversary Box um, figure. So this is the Black Series set of figures. Um, I, I know everything can't fit in the camera because this sucks. But we'll just have to do it. So up here we have it's very hard to see with this light We have the 40th anniversary sticker showing that that's it This is what this whole thing looks like so we have the display with Darth Vader that you saw over there So we have this whole picture of looks like the Death Star and then an X-wing and stuff there Then we have a display stand that again is hard to see um, It shows everything there that's included in the set. So here's a box. So this is Based off the old Kenner set that was released in 1978, I believe it was, for like Christmas, this pack right here was. And then figures came out in uh, seven, or in, this was maybe se uh, Christmas of 77. And then in uh, 78, the figures were released, I believe. That may be wrong, but I think that's the time. So this was made by Kenner, but of course these are not the original Kenner figures. But this is like the picture that they did so these are all the figures that come into the set that we'll look in the back in a second so here's the Darth Vader that we'll be opening and then here's the whole set in the back so here are all the characters that come in the set that we saw at the front so we have all of these figures now it took forever to get them all and some were quite expensive but I finally got them and then of course the Darth Vader added on there and so they'll all go together onto this display as you see there and then it also shows there's like um, the original picture that you can do as the back side it says too so we'll go ahead and open this box first and then we'll go through and open all the figures and then along with the set all the characters we saw there that we saw we also have the um gamestop exclusive r4 or r5d4 to go along with it there is one more exclusive it's the uh i think it was the star wars celebration luke skywalker where he's in the snow um pilot or the snow speeder pilot outfit but I do not have that and it's super expensive so I do not um, I will not have that to the set but like this he since there's so many spaces on the stand these don't this doesn't fit so it'll just sit separately but we will go ahead and open this box first um, to see all the contents in the display and stuff then we'll go open all the figures next so let's go ahead and open this up okay so we got the tape cut so let's go ahead and start pulling this stuff out so first off we have the Darth Vader here, um, so of course we'll get into that because we're going to open these in order. So I'll start with Han and then move all the way down. So Vader will be last, but this is what it looked like. And yes, before anybody leaves a comment, it's like uh, saying, you know, why would you open these and stuff? I do not want to open these, but some of the packages I got, which you'll see were from the start with the Han Solo, the backs and boards are completely damaged on a lot of these. So or they're bent and all sorts of stuff. So they're not really worth to keep in the package because they're all damage and that's just what I had to sacrifice to get some of them was just get damaged ones and I was like I'd rather have the whole set than have um, you know damage one or spend a lot more money and wait longer to get the set so I'm just gonna open them and they have the, the, the display and stuff so it'll be fine I don't I mean like I said I would like to keep them in the packages and like you know put them in boards and, or pack like special packaging and stuff but I don't have um, the things to do that. So let's go ahead and look at the backing here. So here's the backing with the original look of the characters here. So these are all the different ones. And of course there's space and like X-Wings there in the background and stuff. So this is just cardboard that's folded. And then here's the picture it shows. So there's the Death Star with the X-Wing flying in front of it and a TIE Fighter chasing. So that's the display. So you can choose either one of those to put in the background. Oh god, it's all falling off. Got that. So then we have the displays in the packages. Let's see if we can rip them open easily. So I was curious to see what these are. Okay, so they just are different things spread out. Let's see, do they lock in? Okay, so they slide into each other and lock in. And I like how they kind of have like the Death Star design of the like floors and stuff. So we have that, and then oh, there goes the picture. And then we have frame picture into it and stuff and display it and everything. So we've got that. We've got the Star Wars logo, which I believe goes in the middle, which looks like it's a sticker. And then there's the piece that can go on to in the back with a connection between these two pieces here. So I'll go ahead and get this all assembled and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I got the display all put together now. So this is what it looks like. Again, I chose the older picture. So we have the display here and then the picture in the background and then the frame that goes around it with the big Star Wars logo in the back. So I'll flip it around so you can see what it looks like from the back here. Um, it's kind of weird because the picture is supposed to like fit into... Um, it doesn't like fit very well so there's like a thing back here that it slides into to help hold it and then there's these little like picture things there on picture flame frames and stuff that you can move around to help hold it but it just doesn't sit in there very good but it'll just have to do so now that we've got this all put together let's go ahead and open up the figures and as I mentioned we will start with Han Solo and then we'll just move through the whole entire set through the back here and just kind of look at each one and stuff So I'll go ahead and open this. Okay, so we got Han Solo out of the pack here So I'll just sit him there for a second. I just want to show you his package It's kind of hard to see especially with the lighting But up here the box is really damaged and like bent and everything out You can kind of see it there with the light if I can I can't get the lighting to um, shine on it and stuff but it's real damage all along the side here and so that's why I said I um, decided to open these and as you see I had to pay a little bit more than you normally would because of finding it in a local toy store and stuff so that's just an example of why I'm not doing it because the package is all bent and destroyed and so that's why I'm opening these so um, I know it would be nice to keep them in the package but I'm not going to so Han Solo here so again these are the black series so they're about six inch figures um, so that's um, how tall they are. It's kind of hard to see. But um, so here is Han Solo. So of course it's supposed to look like Harrison Ford. He kind of does. The face isn't perfect and stuff. So here he is in his classic Star Wars ep um, episode 4. I almost said 1. Uh, New Hope outfit. And so he, of course he has like the purple or yellowish tan shirt. The black vest. I don't remember him having this. It must be kept it from the Stormtrooper. But then he has his belt with a gun holster, which he does come with his gun, which I don't remember what the gun is called. But you have that here, so you can obviously stick it in his hand or stick it into the holster, which looks like it's uh, strapped down, so I can't really get it in there right now. He does also come with two additional hands, so you can pull his hands off and switch them to these. So we have like kind of like an open grip and then another gun holding position. Um, just so he has gloves on his hand compared to um, just bare hands as you see here. Then of course he's got his pants with the stripe on him and his black boots going on there. And then he also does come with this gun, which I don't remember what it's called. But this gun comes with every single like Black Series figure because uh, I don't have many Black Series figures. But I do have a, um, been buying a lot of like Stormtroopers and stuff. And that's they all come with this gun in its own. And he does have a, pa a pocket on the back here. There's way too much black going on on this screen. There's a black back on this side. No. We'll just kind of move this and take it down till the end. And so here is a better look at him. And then like I said, I wish the pocket was open so I could get the gun in there. But it'll probably just be holding it most of the time. Then like I said, the gun in the back there in the holster and the additional hands. And so it looks kind of cool. He stands actually pretty well. But of course, we'll put him all on the base and stuff. So there's the Han Solo. Next up we have Luke Skywalk here. So I wanted to show, I kind of showed the box of the Han Solo, but I forgot to show the packaging the show it looks like. So we have of course Luke from when he's looking out at the double suns on Tatooine and stuff. So, you know, the box says Luke Skywalk. It's got the Star Wars logo. The same uh, outline design as the display stand. And then of course the old Kenner logo and the Luke here. So let's go ahead and open this one. Okay, so we got Luke out of the package here. So here's a look at his face. He doesn't really look like Luke Skywalker to me at all, but it's supposed to, of course, be Mark Hamill here from A New Hope as well with the longer uh, uh, shaggy hair, So I'm trying to say. Then he's got his, like, white coat or shirt thing that he's got going on. I don't like the, the like, fabric shirts on characters like these. As you see, it looks so puffy and stuff. I just don't like the way that looks. Then, of course, he has a belt, and so he has this here. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But he does have the little hook there, so you can take the lightsaber and hook it onto. Obviously, you can uh, this figure I, or this lightsaber I couldn't do it, but usually you can pull the um, actual lightsaber part out, so it's just the hilt of the lightsaber, and so you can hang it on there. You know, so he always has the lightsaber, and then he's got his brown or tan pants and brown shoes going on there. He also does come with a binocular, so of course when he's supposed to be looking out at the. Um, looking for R2 and then so you put these in his hands where you can look through them and stuff and then it also has a little clip it's kind of hard to see here on the side there you can kind of see it 
where it's open and you can probably slide it into like his belt somewhere. I have this figure already. I bought the um, Luke that came with the uh, speeder the from this movie in the black series and so this it's the exact same figure as this the only difference is he comes with a cloak that you can slide on and the hat which was shown in the um, deleted scenes from the movie but not in the actual movie and it comes with a lightsaber just like this and the binoculars and stuff so I've already had practice with this and of course this Luke's not wanting to stand up at all but um, there's nothing much more to him excite him he has these like patches or belts and stuff you can take the belt off but things but none of them open or anything so it's nothing kind of exciting going on there but that's going to be it for luke skywalker the next up we got princess leia here so there's a picture of course carrie fisher as princess leia and it says princess leia organa there because she's bell organa's adopted daughter got the kinner logo and princess leia in the package here so let's go ahead and open it and here we have princess leia out of the box now so this is the first female of the black series set that i've gotten and um it's kind of weird because she's so skinny and like frail i would say like i it's just so weird holding there so here we have picture face and i think that does look pretty good to princess leia and she's got the buns on her head which is always cool and she, um she has her white cloak on um it has the hood that you can put up but it doesn't really like stay up very well it's way too big for this again i hate material uh, like actual material on figures but that's what she's got so then she has a belt here with some uh gold or some silver on it and then she's just got white boots on down here so there's nothing really special to her she does come with guns so here's one of the guns that she has again i've never i've never really seen this gun i looked to see if she had holsters like on her under her dress and stuff because you know sometimes they're just actual figures under there and so she'll have a holster and stuff because like i have the royal guard of the emperor's royal guard or the imperial guards and they under their cloaks they have holsters with guns and stuff but she comes with that gun, then of course she comes with the exact same gun that the others do as well. Um, her hands though look, like I said, frail. They look really small and she's got really thin fingers and they just look really weird. So I'll have to be careful with this figure. Um, but I assume this gun won't be too big to put in her hand, but this gun looks like it definitely will be. But that's going to be it for Princess Leia. Then next up, we've got Obi-Wan Kenobi here. So, of course, here's a look at Alec Guinness playing Obi-Wan Kenobi from A New Hope. We've got the Kinder logo and Obi-Wan here. So, this one doesn't look like it's got a whole lot going on to it, but I'll have to look at it. But it says Ben Kenobi with Obi-Wan there in the parentheses and stuff. So, let's go ahead and open this. So, we got Obi-Wan out of the package here, and I actually like this character a lot. So, here's a look at his face, and it does look a lot like Alex Alex or Alec Guinness, I can't remember how you pronounce his name. I think that looks really good like him and stuff. So we got old Obi-Wan here with the white hair and beard. He's in his Jedi robe outfit, so you can see he's got the like lighter tan color with the brown underneath. He's got a belt there that also does have a look to hook his lightsaber in, so you can uh, hook that onto there as well if you want to do that so he can carry his lightsaber around and then he's got the brown cloak overneath so this one is a fabric but i like the way this setup where it's got like actual plastic material underneath and then just a uh the fabric on top it does have a hood that you can cover up but i think this actually looks kind of decent because it looks like kind of like how he does in the movie when he puts his head up it's you know big and like kind of flopping around and stuff so i think that looks really cool and then he's got his jedi boots on there as you can see underneath that so there's not much more to him like he does have a pocket there and that or a pouch and yeah that looks like about it and doesn't open or anything so there's what we want and he does have his lightsaber here which i like the look of the lightsaber i like this design um i don't really remember his lightsaber so this is cool getting to see it and seeing you know that it has this wider design at the top where the lightsaber comes out as you can see there and again i can't really get this one to come out so i don't know because you know if you hook it on it's kind of weird with the lightsaber hanging down onto the ground and stuff but I believe they do come out on some of these but that's going to be it for Obi-Wan then next up it's one of my favorite characters R2D2 as you can see we've got the spelling out pronunciation as it does in like the books and stuff with the picture of R2 there and as you see he comes with a bunch of different uh, like things that he can use to pop out of his body and stuff so we'll go ahead and open this okay so R2 is out of package here so this is also not only is R2 one of my favorite characters but I like these figures a lot um, so I'm kind of confused about this character. So obviously this is set to be the um, a New Hope figure. Or like the packaging and all the character stuff are supposed to be from A New Hope. But this R2 is kind of set up a little differently. So first off, one of the things I like is you turn their head. Because I have another R2, D2 figure, or R2 figure, or not R2, but like a droid like this, an astromech droid. 
and you turn the head to get the third leg to come out so you can know like lean back and roll along and stuff I can't there it goes probably there so it can like roll along like that and so then you just screw it back in you just screw um, turn it there and it turns around and then on the front here is little compartments that open so here he has the little hand that sticks out so it's the thing that like goes into um, the machine thing stuff to get information or open doors and stuff then he's got this hand if I can get the door open and it's got a little like grabber or pincher thing and then he also has stuff on the top these do come off the things I assume those are supposed to be when he flies and stuff and that comes out and he flies along which he doesn't do in any or in episode 4 or yet, let alone any of the original trilogy but he has those that you can switch out with these pieces here just to make it look normal and then on the top of his head he also has little compartments so I'll just pull this one out here and so that's a bigger hole. And so he comes with three different things. You stick. And so the first one's supposed to be lightsaber, but I've been trying and I cannot get this lightsaber to fit in here at all. So I don't know what's wrong with that, why it won't fit. But then he also has two other compartments that I won't open that have smaller holes. And so one of the things is like the scanner device here, you know, it pops up and scans around. And then this one as well that kind of looks like a speaker, kind of the way it's like curved and designed. It looks like a speaker, but I don't remember what that's supposed to be exactly could be part of a scanner as well but I just like that how he can do have the little doors that open the head that spins to release the foot and then the stuff on top and everything and I just think that's really cool for R2-D2 but that's gonna be it for him the next up we have the Death Star Commander so here's the guy that's supposed to be like a fire of the um, Death Star laser um, so I assume that's what he's supposed to be so he's like you know in charge of like saying you know doing the firing and stuff so there's a picture of him from the movie there and then here's a figure obviously this guy looks a lot younger than the old guy here but it's just supposed to be the same type of guy and stuff so let's go ahead and open this okay so here's the Death Star Commander so I think this is kind of cool I mean he's kind of plain and boring but I think it's cool so he's in the all black outfit as you would see a lot of imperial guys wearing so the shiny black boots and stuff there and the gloves he's got a belt on with this logo which a lot of the um, guys have it's just um, a little like in uh, sticking out like circle type thing I don't know how you say that um, but then there's his face and then he's got a helmet which I assume you could probably take off of him all you have to do is just slide this uh, chin strap off and pull the helmet off but here it is it's kind of like wobbly and loose so it can kind of move around on his head and stuff but here's a look at the helmet of the design in it you got all the little indentations going in there and then of course they got the imperial logo there on his shoulder and just the only one and then he also has a holster there on his belt for the gun which is, I again I don't know any of the gun names or anything but this look, reminds me of a gun from uh, Battlefront which of course it should be um, but I just think that looks really cool so you can obviously stick it in his hand or stick it into the gun holster here which it looks kind of big but I guess it does fit into there and so there's not really much more to go on about him I just think he I don't know why, but I just think he looks cool. And he's an Imperial person that didn't come with that same gun that all the other like Stormtroopers and stuff come with. So that's cool. So that's it for the Death Star Commander. Then next up, we've got Chewbacca. So there's, of course, the picture of Chewbacca on the front there of, from the movie. And then here's the figure. So he's giant, so I'll have to compare him to one of the other figures, as you can see there. So let's go ahead and open him. Ah! Did, you, did that scare you? Um, he's kind of big, so I can't get him in the end of the pictures. So I moved him real close. So he's staring at you. Uh, um, so here's Chewbacca. Of course, he is ginormous as he is in the movie. I love the way they did his fur. So the way they went, you know, from the darker to the lighter colors and stuff. I love that whole um, paint job and design that they threw into it. So we have the ginormous Chewbacca. Of course, there's his head there. I like the way they did, you know, the black nose and then the eyes, which look kind of like they do in the movie where you can tell that it's someone in a costume. But it, you know, looks real at the same time. They got his mouth open there with the tongue, as you can see. And he just looks cool. He's got his bandolier bag here, of course, with the bag. Which, unfortunately, doesn't hold anything or open and stuff. But I think it still looks cool. And he comes with his bow caster, which you had to assemble a little bit. You just had to stick this part on the front here and just push it into the thing. And so it looks really cool. I like the... Oh, I think it looks like a crossbow, but it never like shoots any bolts and Chewie never has to pull the thing back. It's just like a normal gun. And he's got two um, kind of like sights going on here. I just thought it was funny. But it's really cool and I really like this. So let's get Han Solo up here next to it just so you can see obviously with the camera it's hard to see. But you can see how tall Chewbacca is. Han Solo maybe comes up to his shoulders, maybe. Um, but I think that looks so cool. 
And this is definitely probably my favorite figure of the set so far. So there we've got Chewbacca. Then next up we've got a Stormtrooper. And so here's the Stormtrooper. So I have a lot of like Imperial Troopers and Stormtroopers stuff. But this is the first I think just plain regular one. I have a bunch of different like forms of it. But I knew I had this one so I didn't want to you know buy a bunch of different ones when I already had it. So this is just the plain normal Stormtrooper in the all black and white outfit. I like the helmet here. How they added the blue lines going into it. Which I think is a newer edition maybe. I don't remember that from the older stuff. But they added that onto there. And I love the whole face design with the, with the like fake mask mouth and the eyes and stuff i just think it looks so cool he's got all the armor pierce pieces going on all the way down to his legs and so he's got pointy hand for a gun and then just another grabbing hand he's got some like little things going around on his belt but none of them do anything he does have a holster here for the gun which he does come with the this is the same gun that i said every figure comes with and he comes with the same guns that all like stormtroopers come with in the set so the gun fit, can fit back in there so is that gun and then he has the long range kind of like a sniper rifle gun so these two guns are the f same guns that like every single stormtrooper comes with um i don't remember this being so big on other guns I like the sight part it looks kind of weird it almost looks like a whole another gun that you can like pull off and use but so there's the long range sniper that you can stick in his hand or you can just do the smaller gun that's back in the holster so that's it for the stormtrooper then we've got a Jawa here. So these are the one the little guys on Tatooine. So go ahead and open this. So here's the Jawa and I think this is cool. So he doesn't have any fabric material, which I think is good because I think with his little size, it would kind of overbear him and stuff. So here we have a look at the Jawa. So he's in his all brown cloak going on and then he's got his darkened face with the yellow eyes. It's not known whether he's a creature. Here it looks like he's kind of got like bandages or stuff wrapped over it, kind of like hiding his face. But it's unknown exactly what the Jawas is. At least I believe it is unknown known but I think that looks cool and he's got the blackened hands and stuff too and then he's got this like bandolier type patch around his chest he's got one coming down which has a holster attached to it to hold this gun which I believe this is the ta like taser gun type thing it's what they shoot at R2 to like kind of freeze him and stop him from going but I like how it's attached to this and it's and I think if you open air mess with it it will hold this gun in there it's just not in there right now so you can put it in his hand and he can hold it, but I like how it's got the like cable attached to it. It looks almost like a, what would be a flamethrower or something. But he's a little tiny in size, so let's go ahead and bring back Han Solo. And you can see the size difference going on there of the two to show how small he is. But he has, um, so he comes with this gun, as I said, and then he also comes with this gun. I don't know what the difference, I know he, you know, they use one to shoot R2 to keep him from moving and stuff, but I don't know whether it's this one, or if it's this one, I believe it is this one, but I can't be for sure on that. But I think both of them look cool. This kind of looks like, um, like, I think they call him Blunderbust or something, or Potato Gun, I think is what it's also called from like the old timey days, but I, with the wide opening there, but I think it looks really cool. I don't know what it does, but, um... So you have either of those two guns, you can probably put like this one in the pocket and then have him hold this one or reverse. But I just think it looks cool. So that's it for the Jawa. Then next up we've got C-3PO. So once again the name's all spelled out how it is in the books and stuff. And we got C-3PO from there in the Death Star. And he doesn't really come with anything so this one's going to be short but we'll go ahead and open this. And so here's C-3PO, and so as I said, he's kind of boring, he doesn't really come with anything, but he's in his all goldenness like a golden god or something, I don't know what you're trying to say about him. Um, but so here's, of course, an up-close look at him with all the detail, I like all the wiring and stuff, they did the look in there to make it look like our, or C-3PO did, I like the um, pieces connecting his arms, so of course he can't like move his arms very much because of the connections and stuff, so he has to always like kind of hold him down like he is there. And then his legs, he does have a silver leg here, which I don't remember, like I remember in the movie, but I don't remember if he, it happened to him when he got in the movie or he had it from the start. But of course it kind of goes along with his right arm that he gets in the, or has in the Force Awakens and stuff. So he's kind of all of a mixed match of old pieces and stuff. I don't know if that's supposed to be when, uh, like he gets torn apart on, uh, Bespin and Chewbacca just finds a different color leg and puts it on him or if that's just how he is in real life It's kind of hard to notice in the movies and stuff, but besides that there's nothing more ch more to our, our C-3PO um, I think he looks quite like all the robotic designs and stuff. They put all the detail going into C-3PO It looks exactly like the character in the sh movies and stuff. So that's gonna be it for C-3PO
And the last character we have here is the Sand People, or the Tusken Raiders, as they're called, but it's labeled as Sand People, even though you only get one, so it's not really people, it should be Sand Person. But it's the Tusken Raider, so let's go ahead and open this. And here's the Tusken Raider, or the Sand Person now. So it's kind of similar to Obi-Wan, where he's all plastic on the inside, then just has this fabric coating over the top of him, which, again, I like that, because it's not as big and bulky, and he still looks normal and stuff. So here's an up-close look at the Sand Person. So you can see it's got these weird like bug eye type things and a weird mask over its face. It's got spikes sticking out all over its bandaged up head. Then it has like this breather I assume it's supposed to be that you know is supposed to go along with this mask and stuff to help it breathe. And it's got like bandoliers and pockets there around its waist on a belt and then it's just got its fabric material which it's kind of stuck up in here which is what they do with these figures. They kind of like tuck it and so once you undo it which I'll kind of regret it it'll then like go to the ground and be all stuck out and puffy and stuff. And he's got the same kind of bandaged up feet like its head and stuff. So I don't know what Tusken Raiders are and why they look so weird. But it is. And so they have this all like weird and stuff. That's what I hate about the fabric is they put like so much fabric on these. So it's hard to like do stuff with. So like now if he stands, he's standing on the fabric. So I'll just probably have to get it tucked back up in there. Which that won't be as hard hopefully. And so there's the Tusken Raider. And so he comes with a bunch of weapons. So first off, he's got a sniper I feel. So we've seen him um, use snipers in a couple uh, movies, or at least in, I know in episode one they used it to shoot the pod race. Uh, the, yeah, the pod racers is what I meant to say. And so we've got the long sniper rifle, rifle gun there. Then we have this stick, which I believe they call like a gaffy stick or something. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. So on this end, it's got the big, um, like, bulb thing and then a spike. So you can probably, like, spike somebody with it. And then it's got this end, which I put this in because that's what it looked like in the picture was this silver end. So probably just another thing to beat people. But it does also come with this option. of the, And they're both brown and these two options. So you could probably choose either one of those for how you want the stick to look if he's going to hold it. Um, I like the look of the character, but overall, of course, with the fabric, and then I don't know why it comes with all these different pieces. They should just come with, like, say, this one or something. It doesn't need to have all these different attachments and stuff. But that's going to be it for the sand person. And then next up, we have Darth Vader here. So this is the last character out of the set, so let's go ahead and open him. Okay, so here's Darth Vader now, and so this is definitely one of the characters where they put way too much fabric on. Like, look how much fabric he has on for his cape. Um, so here's, of course, his face, the old classic Darth Vader look. And I like the way they did, like, the reddish color eyes there. It makes him look more ominous and stuff instead of just all black. And you can see his face mask and the helmet going on there. Then we go to his chest where he has his um, all sorts of mechanics and stuff going on with the pad, uh, the pad thing. With all the different like buttons and stuff. And all sorts of different uh, things around his belt. Again, help him because he's like half or mostly robot and stuff. So he has to have stuff that helps him breathe and everything. And so then he's got his um, padded armor here or outfit that he wears. As you can see on the legs and stuff. And then of course the armor pieces of the shoe uh, boots and gloves and of course the chest piece going on here and everything. Then like I said he's got the cloak so he has this lower part um, that kind of covers his leg and just goes over his chest and stuff and then he's got this big giant cape that goes on the back that just kind of like completely covers him and makes it hard for him to stand because of the uh, feet being covered and stuff now I can't even hardly get him to stand and then of course he comes with his classic red lightsaber so here's the lightsaber hilt then of course is Darth Vader, or classic to Darth Vader, and again it's got the little hook there that you could hook on, but I don't see any, I guess he does have a hook all the way in the back there, it's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but it's right here, so he has that hook that you could hook it on if you wanted to. But I just think he looks so cool. So that's going to be it for Darth Vader. And then we have the last character out of the set, which is the R5-D4, which, again, doesn't go with the set because there's a look at all the characters on the back. So he will not go in and fit with the thing, but um, we have him here anyways. And so, again, this is a GameStop. A lot of GameStops still have these, and they're maybe on clearance and stuff. So if you want, like, this character, just go into GameStop and look for it on either clearance or just wherever they have figures and stuff. So let's go ahead and open this. Okay, so here's R5-D4. So he's pretty much exactly like R2-D2. It looks like they pretty much, not just they as in the figures, but even in real life or for the movie, they just took R2-D2 and painted some red on him where he had blue. And then, of course, they put a different head on it. And so it has this, like, sparkle design, which looked possibly that they're just stickers, but this doesn't feel like sticker on here. But it looks like maybe that's what it was. 
But he does have the same little door openings that I have problems <laughs> closing on this. So with the same two little hands on there. He doesn't have any openings on the top like any parts that open. But he does have this one single antenna. And then his head does also spin to at least the third leg off of him. I don't know. Oh, I guess that is his front there. And so of course he can then do the whole roll along look. Kind of like R2-D2 does as well. And so that's it for R5-D4. So that's going to be it for this Star Wars 40th Anniversary Black Series set. Of course with all the characters I know it doesn't fit into the camera. I couldn't get them all to squeeze in there. So I just kind of stuck them all up on the platform. Then you got the background there with the um, picture in the background as you can see. Um, some of them they don't stand on the pegs. Like some of their feet are messed up for the holes and everything. But I got them on as well as I could. And they're just kind of a pain. And the things like R2 don't have holes in the bottom of the feet. So here's the R4 or R5. So you can see they don't have holes in the feet. So they just have to kind of stand in on the platform and stuff. But that's going to be it for this set. I hope you enjoyed. This took me a long time to get it. I think I was waiting on the Tusken Raider and the Stormtrooper. The last two it took for me to find where I had to order them online and they cost a lot more and took forever to ship. And so it just um, took a long time to finally get this set complete. But I finally got it complete. Like I said, all I know that I'm missing is the Luke Skywalker Star Wars Celebration figure that's super expensive. But that's it for this 40th anniversary set. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which character is your favorite out of the set or just design you like the most. I think mine's probably the Chewbacca out of the design and features and stuff. But just let me know which character you like. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. And we'll see you next time. May the Force be with you.